I'd like to introduce Heather, and Heather's a 21-year-old student. Yep. And Heather, you've had, you were telling me, four surgeries yes. on your knee in six years. Yes. And you came, your first surgery was when you were 15 years of age, and it just didn't work out, and you had a failure. And then you had another yeah, surgery and another surgery. And we decided that it was time to get stability to your knee joint, but you'd had so much surgery, we decided that we would do a graft from your other knee. Yeah. And when I first presented that to you, <laughs> that we were gonna go to your good knee to get a graft, how did that make you feel? Uh, I was a little bit nervous because yeah. this is the good knee. That's <laughs> right. So I was That's nervous right. about opening up the good knee. And Absolutely. And you have every right to be nervous about that. I would be too. But the advantage to you as a patient is if we use your own graft, we have virtually a 95% success rate. And if we used a transplant or something, it drops down to much lower levels. And, and so... We encouraged you to make the decision, mm -hmm. and you're only five weeks from surgery. Yes. Yep. And I can do. Can we show off a little bit? Sure. All you right. Can. So it's you've only five weeks, and to straighten up your leg, and we took out a bone tendon bone graft, mm -hmm. and we do this through a little incision, cosmetically placed, and then we take this skin flap like a plastic surgeon and we go all the way around here to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. So you had a little swelling around there, but then that quickly went away. Mm -hmm. And we graft the little defect here and there. So when I rub my hand over, you can't feel any defects there, yep. right? And, uh, and how long, how bad was it? Um, and you can be honest, first couple of weeks it, it hurts a little the, bit? The first week was a little bit painful just because I think for me it was a lot of the shock. I never had mm -hmm. this as a good leg. This is supposed right. to be the one that I put all the pressure on. Um, but after the first week, it was virtually no pain at all. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. And and we probably have a disclaimer there because it <laughs> usually it usually will hurt a little yeah. bit for two to weeks or so, two to three weeks. You would expect that. But now you're only five weeks. You have a weight on your mm -hmm. leg. And, and so bend up and down for us and show off for us. And, and we think that was a very good mm -hmm. yes, decision. Yes, it was a very good decision. And now, and just to be, to fast forward, the other knee that, and straighten your other knee, and, and those aren't all of our incisions. We've had to use previous incisions. Yes. But you see, you see, we still close that cosmetically, mm -hmm. and we don't have any railroad tracks. And after five weeks, that's also doing well. You now have a stable knee here. Yep, so I sure do. We think we're through through with this multiple yep. scenario, <laughs> yep. right? Yep. Okay, good. Well, thank you for telling us that. Uh, we want patients to know that when we're recommending to go to the good knee, there has to be a really a substantial reason why we would do that. Yep. And uh, Or otherwise we wouldn't do it. And I'm really glad you've had such a good result. It was. It was a it was good decision. Okay, Definitely. good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>